find peace Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain While taking in the view You will find that life is Greater than you knew When you go through the storm Hello everybody, hope you're well. I'm camping in Gordale Scar this weekend. I don't use many campsites, but when I do, this is one of my favourite campsites. I've been coming here for years. We used to bring groups here, young kids doing the D of E, expedition training, and we used to run some leader training courses here as well because it's in between Lowland and Highland and the definitions for the UK Outdoor Licensing Act. So I know the area really well, it's one of my favourite places. It's run by Malcolm and his brother now. I must have been coming here for God knows, over 30 years anyhow, love the place. But today's video is all about this, the Newton Gravity Water Filter. And I've got two of these, I'm going to do a demo and a test with one of these, and I'm actually going to use some of the water from Gordil Scar Beck. <laughs> Hopefully I don't kill myself or poison myself. Um, and the other one of these I'll uh, do a giveaway as I normally do on my channel. But well, let's have a look what you get in the box first of all. So in the box, as the natural uh, unit, a stand, which is quite useful. We have a bakey filter at home that we use all the time and it doesn't have a stand which is a right pain. I'm pleased already that this comes with a nice, which looks like, stainless steel stand. There's a lid. There's the bottom container. The instructions. I take it there'll be the filters, two filters, and there'll be the bits and pieces to put it together. And there's some fastenings in there as well. I do know that you're not supposed to touch these and you're supposed to have gloves. There's none supplied but I'll use the plastic bags that come with it so I don't actually touch them and contaminate them and get any oil on them. And in here... Ah, there's a tap and it also has a gauge on it to show you how much water's in the unit as well which is quite good. And they look all stainless fittings as well. Impressed so far, looks very well made. You obviously don't want an aluminium version of one of these because uh, the contaminants from the aluminium are going to cause problems but you're okay with the stainless steel. So the instructions on this, uh, it's only designed to be used with cold water. It's designed to remove bacteria out of the water, which is useful. <laughs> I hope I don't poison myself this weekend. I have got my loo with me. <laughs> Um, and what you need to do, yeah, it's very similar to the ones I've seen before. The actual filters, which are in these boxes, um, are like a ceramic filter and they have an inner coating inside and an outer coating. And to get the best results, you soak these for about 15 minutes in cold water. So we'll do that in the camper van. It's also supposed to remove lime scale out of your water as well, and various contaminants. There's a long list of everything it basically does. and. Um, I'll put some of the information in the video along the um, uh, bottom of the screen as we go through some of the facts and figures. But basically it's supposed to move 99.999% of all contaminants including lead, heavy metals, E. coli and all the nasties. So my thought with this, as well as being able to use it in the house, is if you were on a camping trip and uh, you don't have any water. There is water on the campsite here but I'm just here to test it. But in the remote areas where there's no water, you could take your water out of a stream and you could filter it through this unit to give you clean water, make yourself more self-sufficient. So with solar and electricity and having your water, you're starting to reduce the amount of times you have to go back into some form of civilization and uh, spend money and things. So let's, uh, the instructions to put it together are rather straightforward. The, the bottom piece here, there's one hole in it and this basically comes apart and they sandwich those silicon and the arsilicon 
washes in between and that tightens up on there. The other unit here has holes in the bottom and you can put up to four of these filters. There's only two with it but it does come with some plugs that you fill the other ones with, the silicon plugs. So if you want it to be super efficient and filter things quicker you can have four filters on rather than two but there's only two supplied with it. As I said the plugs are in that. And then in here, and I mustn't touch these because I don't want to get any oil or grease on them. In here, yeah, there are the filters. And these are the ones we need to soak in water for 15 minutes. And they're just basically fit through the holes in the bottom of the canister. Not that one, that one. And there's a silicon washer which tightens up against it and the water filters through the hole here. So nice and straightforward, easy to use. So I'll get these soaked and then we'll put them into the container and we'll set it up. I hope I've got a spanner with me <laughs> to tighten the tap up. So it started to rain. <laughs> I've got the canopy out. Still not too bad out there, it's just drizzly. We'll come in a camper van. I've had to clean the sink because I don't want any oil or anything in that to contaminate the filters. Anyway, let's get on with it. So I've filled the sink full of water and without actually touching the silicon, sorry, the actual filters, let's place them in there and I'll rotate those around so they have got the opportunity to get nice and wet. What have I done with the other one? found it was outside. <laughs> you don't really need gloves to do this because you can hold them by the bottom but actually screwing them into the container you'll need to hold that to get some tension on it so that's where I'll use a plastic bag or you would use some gloves. So let's leave them in there for 15 minutes and we'll have a go at putting the rest of it together while they're soaking. Found a spanner. So here's the tap. And uh, that's probably a 17mm nut, as I guess. Or any size fit spanner. Nicely made. Stainless washer. Ooh, really good, thick silicone rubber, silicone um, washers there. That will stay on the outside. So this will just fit in here. And we'll place the washer silicon washer, the stainless washer and the nut inside. Oh, and of course you can tear this around to get some tension on the nut and then just nip it up with a spanner. I wouldn't over tighten it because I think those silicon washers are probably best not over tightened. I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on with a spanner but you're probably looking at that in there it looks like it has sealed there. I think that's strong enough. Time will tell. So in this little bag you get the handle for the top and two silicon bungs. And those silicon bungs will go in the holes you're not using. I presume they're going from that way around. If you push them in and turn them that looks to be the best way to do it. There's one. There we go. So it comes with a little handle for the lid, which is a screw. It's actually got a brass fitting in there. Oh, nearly put it on the wrong way around. <laughs> I think you can actually put this together without any tools. It's not nips up tight enough there. I did get the screwdriver out to tighten it up, but I don't think it needs it. No, tight enough as it is. We've had a cup of tea. These have been soaking for a good, well, probably half an hour. So you remove the actual plug, the um, nut off the bottom, and leave that silicon washer on there. So that'll give you the seal to stop any contaminant water coming through. 
using the bag as I say to dry up, putting the oil on them. And you simply just push them through and tighten them up. Tighten it, you should not want to break it. And then we'll do the other one. The noise in the background you can hear is the river by the way. I'm right next to the river, so I ain't got far to carry my water. It's nice and tight. And there you are. Two of the filters in there, and the other two with the rubber bungs in. I'm going to use this plastic bowl to bring water to fill the actual unit up. I haven't filled it to the top, but I'd say it's about a quarter full. <laughs> and I've just noticed some bugger something swimming around in there. I'll see if I can get that out. And there's a little bit of pond weed in there, but that should now be filtering through those filters into this bottom bit. And when this bottom bit fills full of water, this little bowl on here will rise and tell you how much water you've got in your container. Hopefully you can see that. There's quite a bit of green weed in there. Well, apart from the odd bit of weed, maybe a bug's running around. <laughs> Can you see that? It doesn't look too bad at all. That's a freshwater shrimp, a tiny one. What is it, a tiny fish? Leaving that to filter through, I probably filled it about half full, maybe a bit less. And that's where the level is above the tap. And I'm pleased to say there's no leaks. All the water on the table is me spilling it out of the bowl as I'm filling it. So the big test, I hope you appreciate me doing this. But I have run expeditions before in Canada and in the early days we used to run expeditions we used to use um, tablets to clean the water out, the, out some of the lakes freshwater lakes or we would use bleach and there's a special bleach you used to put into your water <laughs> and that used to clean your teeth god knows what it used to do to your insides but it killed off all the nasties and then we went on to um, filters like this that was compression filter so there was much smaller and you had to push the water through them so this is just a gravity version of that so I'm pretty confident that this this approach is safe to use as I wouldn't be doing this and it looks nice and clean you see that there's no fish in it I can't see anything in it. And the big test. Taste of water. There's nothing wrong with that at all. I'd happily drink that. Mm. The test will be in a few days time. I'll keep you posted. Quite pleasant, that. The Yorkshire water. If you consider down this river, there's probably quite a lot of rabbit poo. There's probably a, maybe a dead animal somewhere, and there's various of other bits and pieces. I'll put a clip in now. I found some pasta in the river, <laughs> forever upstream. But I can't taste pasta in this. I'll keep you posted. I'll have a report back from the camper van or when I get home or I'll report back from my hospital bed. It's too big to have on its stand in my camper van kitchen so I've just set it over the gas rings. We don't use any of the gas cooker in this van because we're uh, all electric but I'm pleased to report there's no leaks and I did take the top off and just get rid of the last bit of water in the bottom. So the filter's probably about a quarter of an inch off the bottom, so you do get, still get some water in the bottom. And that's where all the sediment will, will be, all the big particles and any, any of those little creatures I've caught. So I've just rinsed that out in the river just to get rid of that, to make it clean. 
but I've got a good, I'd probably say six, six litres of water that's been through that. The first bit I poured away just to give it a run through, to give it a clean through, but it tastes great. But time will tell. Stay posted. So I'm back and I didn't play myself. <laughs> I was confident, as I said before, I've used many water filters, this ceramic tape water filters in the past and they are extremely good. And the water did taste great out of Gordale Scarbeck. Gordale Scarbeck. And that's a beautiful campsite. I'll put all the information in the description below. So we've got one of these to give away. The one I was using, I'm looking at it in there, and it's an 8.5 litre. And I didn't realise, but this one's a 12 litre, the one I'm giving away. So you could obviously use this in your house and use it as I did in the camper van when you go away. So make sure that your water's super clean, it takes out fluoride and all lots of other things. And there'll be a long list of things in the um, website link below. So if you click on that, it'll tell you a lot more information. But um, there is a discount code as well in the description below. I haven't got the final figures and everything, but uh, by the time the video goes live, all the information will be in the description. So just check down there if you're looking at it to buy one or interested in more information about it so this one's going to give me a giveaway we'll send this anywhere in the world and all you have to do to win this is be a subscriber of my channel and you need to in the comments of this video you need to say i want one and we'll randomly pick somebody or announce it in our next video and uh, this weekend I recorded two videos. I did an old powers, power station and solar panel video. So when that comes out next week, we'll announce the winner of this of the giveaway. So you need to be a subscriber. I'll only contact you through um, YouTube. You'll see a slide of the winner's comment in the next video, um, which will be out next week. And we'll communicate through my email, which is one man and his whip it at gmail.com. And... Uh, We'll see you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Come to the water Where you will find peace Take a step into the river Get down on your knees Come to the mountain While taking in the view You will find the life is